let's understand tiles integration with such two. Let's first see what is tiles. Tiles is a view layer framework for Java EE applications. They follow composite view design pattern which allows separate pages to be combined together to form a new page. Thus each page becomes reusable in nature. Let's see how to integrate these tiles with struts. We have created a dynamic web project with name tiles and within the lib folder of this dynamic web project we have added various jars pertaining to tiles. For example, structs to tiles plugin, tiles API and so on. To register the tiles within the web.xml we create a contest param with name definitions underscore config and the same is pointed to the tiles.xml present within webinf folder. Also we have created a listener map into the listener class struts tiles listener present within the package org.apache.struts2.tiles shown is the content of tiles.xml each tiles.xml starts with an xml followed by the doc type definition the root tag is tiles definition within which we define each tiles the definition starts with the tag definition we have the name of this tile as base layout and map the same to base layout.jsp we put the attributes with name title header menu body and footer each of them map into some jsp thus we have one jsp which includes further other JSPs which is what is known as composite view since a single view consists of many sub views. Similarly we create home second link and third link each of them extending base layout but changing the title and body to map to their respective JSPs. Title is just a name while body maps to a JSP. Same applies for second link as well as third link. The first page which is displayed in this application is index.jsp which redirects this page to an action known welcome tiles.action. Within the structs.xml any URL containing the word tiles goes to tiles action present within the package com.qspawn.action. After executing this action, based upon the result name, corresponding tiles will be displayed. For example, if the result name is welcome, then we return the tiles with name home. To indicate we are making use of tiles, the type of the result is mapped to tiles. Shown is the base layout.jsp which is the composite view which holds other views. Within this we have created a table and made use of each of the attributes which we created in the tiles.xml by using tiles insert attribute tag. Now when the result is home the body of the base layout will be replaced with home and the title will be replaced with home. By default, the body which is used by base layout is body.jsp which contains the text sample body content. But whenever the tiles result is home, the body.jsp is replaced with home.jsp which will display the message home page. Similarly, for second link and third link, we have separate JSPs for body which prints separate message as per the page. To allow dynamic contents to be loaded in the body and title, we have made use of anchor tag to point to second tiles and third lines respectively by providing a link for each. Whenever the user clicks on the link, the second tiles action will be invoked which will go to structs.xml, will execute the action with the corresponding methods 
and based upon the result the corresponding tiles definition from the tiles.xml will be invoked pages will be formed on fly by combining various JSPs as per tiles definition and finally the composite page will be displayed to the user in this case for second tiles the method will first go to tiles action on clicking on the second link the second tiles action will be invoked which will go to structs.xml within structs.xml we have made the action as dynamic method invocation in which second tiles will invoke the method second present within this action hence within tiles action dot java the second method will be invoked and the result will be second which is again mapped to structs dot xml and which will return a tiles with name second link the second link extends the base layout and will display the title as second link page the body of which will be mapped to second dot jsp where second dot jsp contains the body second page by clicking the second link now let's execute this program by deploying the same in tomcat and find the corresponding output after deploying the application and put in the following url in the web browser we get the following page the first page is home dot page which is evident from the body of this page displaying home page we have a header a footer a menu as well as the body page within the menu we have two links second link and third link on clicking on the second link the body of this page will be replaced by corresponding second link message as shown similarly on clicking third link the body will be replaced by the content of third.jsp thus we have seen how to design composite view with the help of tiles in structure next let's check validation in structure